We're going to turn now to Decision 2020. The Harris County Clerk announcing plans underway ahead of the election in November. Preparations are being made so voters have enough time to participate in early voting next month. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live at NRG Park, which is the home of the election headquarters. Brandon? Yeah, Christine, and Harris County Clerk Chris Hollins calls this the Safe Elections Initiative, and it includes drive-through voting, also an increased and expanded push toward mail-in ballots. Well over 100,000 square feet. Space for safe elections, says Harris County Clerk Chris Hollins, who today added tour guide to his CV. Walking reporters through the county's new election center, housed at NRG Arena big enough for social distancing, also big enough for another flashpoint leading into the November election. But also to expand our vote by mail operations significantly. That space where mail-in ballots will be kept is surrounded by caging. Mail-in ballots will be hand-delivered to the voting center in locked bins daily, according to Clerk Hollins, and will be kept under 24-hour video surveillance. A voting ballot board, a bipartisan panel, will review signatures on mail-in ballots, another partisan point of contention, and a lawsuit. A judge tomorrow is expected to rule on that suit filed by Attorney General Ken Paxton against Harris County on Clerk Hollins' decision to send mail-in ballots for the November election to more than two million registered voters. We're confident that this will go in our favor. The, the laws of Texas are on our side and we always operate within the bounds of the law. Across town today, an historic third ward, a show of solidarity for Clerk Hollins at the Houston branch of the NAACP. Several community organizations, including the NAACP and LULAC, the Urban League and the Anti-Defamation League, pleading with Houstonians to vote because the process they say is safe. And those community leaders today also saying that any attempt to prevent the mail-in voting process from occurring is an attempt to suppress the vote. So they're calling on people to register to vote if they are not registered to vote, and also if they do plan to do mail-in voting, to do so early. As far as registering to vote is concerned, the NAACP, also the uh, Houston Area Urban League, holding a voter registration drive this weekend at Texas Southern University. We're live at NRG. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.